No, I'm just spinning. Making ice cream. That's the main thing. So we'll do this about 30, 20, 30 minutes, maybe 40, and then we'll dump this. Okay, we're gonna take a sneak peek in the kitchen where Maisie is having lots of fun making ice cream on the stove it's not ice cream yet because it's on the stove getting hot but and here you got chocolate flavored and then over here you got vanilla flavored under the fly cover right here so as we were guessing before by the time this is all made up there'll be probably about a total of two gallons you think Probably a good guess, huh? This one is gonna be more. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay, so we're gonna have one chocolate and one vanilla. Maisie's doing this ice cream, a different recipe than she's ever tried before. The, the one time she did it with just the egg yolk, and then the last time she did it with the whole egg, the yolk and the white. And this time she's doing it with no egg. And instead of, no, instead of egg, she's using uh, cream cheese. Is that what you said? Cream, cream cheese? cheese you know, a little cornstarch. A little cornstarch? Mm hmm. Yeah, um, condensed milk. Yeah. Okay. You know, this one don't have enough condensed milk because I didn't know some of the cocoa was so sweet. So it's just oh. the coconut box milk and, and um, full, full milk, full, um, full cream. Uh huh. That's, yeah, that's what Because it it'd be too sweet. Yeah. yeah it's Okay, so it'd be too sweet if you used the condensed, the condensed milk, because you know. the condensed milk is sweet in condensed milk. Because I put some sugar in it already, and mm -hmm. I didn't know it was so sweet. Oh, I see, okay. But it's good, it's good. Yeah, okay. Mm. All right. And I use it properly. So even, even though you have a vanilla and chocolate, it's not just like one is vanilla and one chocolate. There's actually a little bit of difference in the ingredients, too, besides just the chocolate part, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm having the powdered um, chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, basco, mm -hmm. and oh, okay. cocoa, yeah. and this chocolate, Okay. this cocoa, okay. cocoa and chocolate and all kinds of goodies. And this. Oh, the Lasco chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the vanilla. Yeah. Oh, now what's this? It's going to go in here too? Yeah, they put it in there. When it's cool, on have to Okay. Oh, you're gonna put one of these in each one. This is just mm -hmm. vanilla pudding. Yes, Or just for thickener. Yeah. Okay. Kind of make it more creamy. Yeah. Although I tell you what, the, the two times we've used, we made ice cream with this machine. Oh, the way the churning on it is so nice. It really is smooth. You know. And I thought the last time I thought we might get ice crystals because we cooled it down really quick. Not a bit. Not a bit. It was really, really good. So, I got some ice going. I started the ice a couple days ago. Woo! Big, great big chunks. I made like two. I probably got what, 12 or 12 or 12 or 14 pounds of ice in there. So, so we got plenty. Maisie's doing her ingredient test. How is it? Maybe you want to come more sweet? Yeah, that's hot. You want more sweet? I, I don't I don't know what it needs. I, I, <laughs> I was focused on the fact it was burning my hand. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. You didn't know it was so hot, huh? How do, how do you do it? You must have tougher skin than me. Yeah, I'm black. You're oh oh yeah, that's that must be it. Yeah. Black people are tough. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not soft. Uh, I'm just a soft white guy. I got tender, I got baby tender skin, you know? You don't know that? Yeah. <laughs> She's a toughie. She's a tough woman. She's a tough woman. 
Anyway, that did really burn my hand. I need to get some ice on that. All right, there we go. We're gonna make some ice cream. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Be sure and like our ice cream, share it with everybody. Have everybody come on over and eat some of it. And subscribe. Do all that. I got everything out here, it seems like, except the ice cream, it's still in the freezer. Or, I mean, the refrigerator. Uh, because we, we get it cool overnight, so it's nice and cold. Maisie can go into all the details of the recipe she uses uh, later on. But anyway, I'm going to just chop some ice up here and uh, do some editing of this later. I guess got a big chunk of ice here. I just leave this in the bag that I froze it up in. That way it doesn't go flying every which way when I poke it with the ice pick. I'm just using an old bread, uh, an old bread bag. This is some of that five pound bread. As you can see, it's a pretty good way to do this. If we were in another country where you buy ice by the bag, I suppose you could buy ice by the bag here. I don't know. We never have. We just bring up our own. We got a freezer in the top of the refrigerator. That's what we use. So. First, you say? Yeah, because the chocolate. This one here, the it, pink, it, the purple. The chocolate cut out is going to the team. Then you might have come over it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if we do the chocolate first, then the vanilla is going to have a little chocolate in it. <laughs> Good thinking. I wouldn't have thought of such a thing. But that's sure right. Okay, yeah, this is going to make about a gallon, I would say, which is kind of what you were thinking, maybe a little bit less than a gallon, and I don't see anything inside of there to make me think any differently than what you were seeing before. Okay, we put the churn in. This is the churn. Make sure it seats itself in the bottom properly. Put the old lid on top. And put this in the machine. Okay, I guess I put a little salt in there now. Oh, you know, something I'm going to want is a little thing of water. And I do kind of like to put a little water around into this. Okay, I think I got that ready to go. 
spinning. Spin it. Just spin it. Maisie's tired, I'm tired, but we're making ice cream. That's the main thing. So, we'll do this about 30, 20, 30 minutes, maybe to 40. And then we'll dump this, put it up, up in the freezer to finish off. Um, we'll do the next batch. We'll pour this ice water off, so we won't really use that much more ice than what we already used. So, we're gonna have, a, have about a gallon of vanilla and about a gallon of chocolate in that order vanilla then chocolate so probably going to have to put a little bit more ice in before I finish this batch up anyway I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and just work on this for a while 30 minutes is what made you just said it's been here I want to take a picture down inside there with the video can you give me a hand to do that Okay, I think we got a, get a batch here ready to go. So we just need a container and we'll dump this. And then we'll start batch number two of chocolate. You got the pan? You got the pan and all that? No, I didn't carry it. I got to just put it in the freezer. So I'm not, I'm oh, you're going to have me carry this in there. Okay, that makes sense. So I didn't know that. Yeah, that makes sense. Carry it the other way. I can just take the whole thing in there if you want me to. Bucket and all. Can do it? Take the whole thing in there, bucket and all, if you want me to. Should I do that? Huh? Okay, let's carry the kitchen. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Unless you want to carry the camera or you want to forget about the camera while we do this part. Huh? Oh here, yeah, clear space on the table. Oh yeah, that looks. It's getting up there pretty good, actually. There's only like two rings left in there. Two rings aren't covered, is all. So yeah, there's a good gallon in there. I don't know. Maybe I should. If it's still if it's still growing up, maybe I should keep spinning a little bit. You know. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. I don't think I can overspin it unless it starts to melt, like I did that one time, but. Start to when it got too hot because I didn't have oh. enough ice. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't make them. That's why I don't want to make six quarts. It's mm -hmm. too much. That's, that's why I'm saying that if, if the bucket like have a bigger bucket, it works better. Mm -hmm. You better, if you want to make six quarts, have an eight quart bucket. Yeah, yeah. You want to make a gallon, have a six so, quart, which is so, what we're so doing. So, so an eight quart would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the 12 would be nice. Mm -hmm. With an electric motor and a, and, a, and a little wagon that goes on, you can take it downtown and sell it. <laughs> Make all kinds of ice cream, buddy. You know? Yeah. Ice cream, something costs. That's firming up nice, though. Ready coming up more? Mm hmm. It's almost. The, 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 second, the second tallest ring is certain to. That means it didn't finish. Rub. Yeah, it wasn't finished before we thought it was. Maybe it's never been finished whenever we've been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely on that. It's still it's still growing. It's gonna keep turning it. It's gonna keep growing. You know? It's only gonna grow to a certain point and then it's gonna quit growing, but I just will keep spinning it while it's growing. Because the longer I spin it. The smoother it's going to be, the creamier. Yeah. And cold, it's not going to take as long to get ready and once we're yeah. put it in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit harder. Yeah. So you got a spot in the freezer to put this, you just have to take that metal thing out that I've got the ice in for the second batch. This is the top, I must put the freezer in. Huh? Put the ice cream up on the top chair, right? Yeah. Yeah.
I guess. I don't really care. It doesn't matter, baby. Where the, yeah, there's probably more room on the second shelf. Boy, when my dad used to do this, he had a had a cast iron or a stainless steel or whatever lid, so you couldn't see in there and peep like we do. To kind of know how you had to go purely on feel. But our ice cream is always way runnier than this. I don't think it's gaining any now. I think it, if anything, it dropped back a little bit because I wasn't spinning it enough. So I think we're about to be done. It's not going up anymore. If anything, it's going down. So I either need to put some more salt nice in here or I need to put it in the freezer, sweetie. Well, we're going to bother with it. <clears throat> You're right, we can't bother with it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. We're going to catch you all later. Maybe eating it or something. No, no, you didn't know it'd be this much more. Although this had some from the first batch, but we didn't bother to dump out. Well, I think we did pretty good. Going over the top bar now. I'm gonna be rubbing on the lid here in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rub the lid. <laughs> well, I can't hardly wait to try some of this. Yeah, see, it's starting to hit the lid, so I think we're done. Have a gallon of vanilla and a gallon and a half. I can't look in here and show a picture. Yeah, I said no. Okay, time me. See, look at that. Gallon, gallon and a half. Gallon of vanilla, gallon and a half chocolate. Woo! All right. Well, even though we're both tired and crabby, we still made ice cream, and it'll still taste good, and it'll still lift our spirits. You know. So. <laughs> night and night. I don't know why I said night and night. I meant bye bye. <laughs> Be sure and like, share, subscribe. Uh, and love tell all your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Love, everything. Yeah. Everything. Do everything you're supposed to do. Yeah. Don't want to hear any excuses. <laughs> There's no excuse. No. Mm. All right. Just love the video. Just love. Oh, say that again. Just love the video. Just love and the then video. say, till next time, and then put your hand over it like you do. Next time. Next time. Put your hand over it. All the way. Don't be, don't be, don't be shy. No, just say it, go like this. See, so you just go. And all the way. You got to make a sound effect, of course. And then just hold it there, right there. Yeah, see? You didn't know how they do that, huh? <laughs> You're a YouTuber now.